can life grow on the moon? That is the question hundreds of students across the country are asking right now, considering uh, that is as an Aussie space group prepares to send plants to the lunar surface. I love this. Unlike traditional textbook lessons, kids in years 7 to 10 tackle hands-on engineering challenges to understand how to feed an off-world colony. To tell us more, we're joined by Head of Ed Education at Style, Claire Feeney, along with a bunch of eager young scientists from the Gap State High School in Brisbane. Morning to you all. Thanks for joining us. Claire, tell us a little bit about this mission and how it came about. So we've actually got some Year 9 students at the Gap coming in on a Saturday morning to do some science, which is Unheard amazing. <laughs> and what we're doing is we're... <laughs> I know. <laughs> what we're doing is we're actually testing seeds. So we're partnered with an organisation called Lenaria One, and they're, they actually have space on a rocket to send some seeds to the moon to test if we can grow plants on the moon. And what we've got students doing is they've had to think about how do you get seeds to the moon and what happens to those seeds as they go through that journey. Mm -hmm. So in this group, we've actually got some students who have heat treated seeds because there are extreme temperatures you experience when you're going to the moon. It gets really, really hot, it gets really, really cold. So they're, they're testing the heat condition here. We've actually got beetroot and broccoli being tested by cool. these wonderful students. And then what we've also got happening back here is there's G-force and there's lots of shaking that happens on a rocket. So we've got some students here who will be shaking some seeds to test. We've got to shake them really vigorously, that's it, because the rocket's really, really, really rough. <laughs> and so once we, once we plant these seeds, we're looking at how they germinate under these conditions. Now, what's really cool about this is because we're partnered with Lenaria One, all of these results are being uploaded into Style's data widget. So a lot of these schools use Style, but also for National Science Week, we've got a bunch of activities that are, that are that's available for okay. every student in Australia. So, so and we want every student to take part and upload their results. So Claire, how, how have students responded? This, this is really cool. It's, it's, you know, they're having a real impact in the classroom. It's... Um, it's something pretty cool. We've had some students literally say, I've never been interested in science before. There's something about watching a seed germinate. I know to a lot of adults it doesn't seem amazing, but when I taught Year 11 Biology, like they were coming at lunchtime to watch that seed germinate. They were giving up their lunch times to watch these experiments. Remember back so in the day when we used to Some kids do, have literally said to we me... We used to grab the stocking and grab... And, you go ahead and, and, yes. and have ger seeds germinate in the stockings. This is far more advanced. It's much more yeah, advanced exactly. these days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey uh, Claire. That's, well, totally, because I just wanted to find out, I do understand that you've had some, some promising results already. Um, is, is that what you're seeing? Some are actually coming into fruition? Some have undergone the conditions that they'll be going to the moon, so heat treated and they've been shaken. And yep. some students in New South Wales have actually germinated a cucumber to be 20 centimetres long, so like that long. Ah, oh. okay, right. So, so when are these um, experiments expected to lift off into space? So in, Ma in, in 2026, the rocket is launching and basically all of the students' data is being uploaded into the data widget and it's actually helping actual scientists pick what seeds they send to the moon. OK, right. I mean, That's it's really exciting. getting kids into class at lunchtime. They're coming in on a Saturday. I just love their energy and enthusiasm and yours too, Claire. Thank you for joining us on Weekend Today this morning. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, kids. To check out the plants, Lunar Edition, schools can head to the website you can see on the screen right there.